Good morning. Welcome to another fine episode of Monday Morning Coffee with Josh. Hope you guys had a great Easter, enjoying times with family, partaking in ham, Easter egg hunts, looking for candy, looking for eggs filled with other eggs and the like, and hoping that when you wake up there is a basket full of stuffed animals and other delicious treats left you left to you by a magical bunny. And all this being captured by a gorgeous day. So there we have it. But let's move on to why we're really here. And today we're here for the coffee. I'm um, going to be reviewing 8 o'clock coffee, 100% Colombian Peak. It was asked to be reviewed by one of my followers, so thank you for that. It is a rich, whiny, full body coffee. It's a medium roast and a medium price range, about $6.50 per bag, so uh, not bad. But let's give her a try. Mm, okay. So, uh, definitely, I can see why they might describe it as whiny. Wouldn't really call it rich. Uh, full bodied, it's for a medium roast, it's pretty well bodied. I would agree with it on that. Nothing in there that's like a zinger, like wow, wow, wee, that's really getting me excited. But also, it's not uh, bad to the taste buds. So, that being said, I would go about a five and a half. It's a good everyday coffee. It's your Honda Civic of coffees per se. It's not that Maserati, but it's also not like a piece of crap car. Don't know cars that well. Piece of crap car. So it's a good everyday driver or a drinker in this case. But moving right along. Um, so I was emailed by one of my followers and asked to talk on an idea. And again, I'm happy to talk on any ideas that you guys want to hear about in the future. I'm happy to take ideas from you, use them, and then throw them right back at you. So if you have any subjects you want to hear from me on or opinions, I'd be happy to. But this one was on the idea of toning. Uh, toning is not as simple as just going to the gym and working out more. Uh, toning is not just going out for a run. These are all aspects that will lead to it. But what toning is is a combination of healthy, clean eating along with uh, hypertrophying the muscle. So yes, just by working out a lot, you get toner just because your muscle now be has become so big and it's really pressing against the skin and it's becoming defined. Or in the case of that runner, you're, you're burning so many calories and you're not eating a whole lot. So you're so skinny that you look toned. Uh, it's a kind of combination between body fat and muscular size. You can kind of go either or as well. But the best way to really do it is by clean eating, so helping to decrease that body fat. So thinking of eating vegetables, proteins, healthy fats, all in a good portion while uh, keeping the sweet tooth at a minimum. So not eating your entire Easter egg basket in one day, stuff like that. Not going to the grocery store afterwards where there's going to be some great sales on bags of candy. Resist that. Those will go a long way. So by help, clean eating, helping to decrease that body fat. And then along within the gym, uh, going for uh, exercises that, so with, what you're trying to do now in the gym is increase the uh, muscular definition by increasing the muscular size. You can do this a couple ways. So for the person that has access to a gym and numerous weights, you can lift heavy weights. Heavy weights will add a stress, it'll cause the muscle fibers to hypertrophy and get larger so you can continue to lift heavier weights. That's one way. Now, due to um, safety, comfortability, or maybe you're working out from home, you may not have the access to that. So the other two ways are time under tension. Now again, best when you have heavier weights, but time under tension is just how long you're holding a weight for a period of time. The longer, um, the more stress it builds up on the muscle, more adaptation. So you can do this a couple ways. So with lighter weights, uh, you can do this by doing slow reps. So if I'm doing bicep curls, maybe I'm gonna do like a nice slow, like three to four seconds down, and then a nice slow three to four seconds up. So going really slow, bracing tight, uh, squeezing tight, will get a very similar effect, and then going for a little bit of higher reps, so in that probably 10 to 15 range um, will help. And again, you can kind of do that with even like lateral raises, going to the side, slow, slow, slow up, hold a second, controlled right back down um, and any kind of generic kind of muscle for upper body and or legs just kind of messing with those uh, tempos the other way is 
um, I guess mechanically overloading the muscles so that whole swole feeling uh, you can do this by so again if you're at home fatiguing pretty fatiguing the muscle so it's gonna have to kind of work harder so I could do this by if I didn't have a lot of weights maybe I do some like dumbbell tricep extensions controlled up controlled down I just do a handful of sets of 12 and then I do some close grip push-ups again hammering the triceps uh, to create hypertrophy you could do that with if you had a pull-up bar so I could do some dumbbell curls and then hammer out as many um, chin-ups as I can and stuff like that so those are a couple ways to kind of get the hypertrophy you're gonna be in, usually in the uh, rep range of three to five sets of about eight to twelve reps so the heavier the weight the lower the rep range you're gonna be if you have a little bit le uh, less heavy weights you'll be in a little higher rep range Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know down below or sh feel free to shoot me an email at josh at williamstrainingsystems.com. I'm going to be away for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try, try to get uh, these episodes out for the next couple of weeks, but I'm going to be away. And then hopefully I will see you next week. If not, I'll see you soon. Bye.